northern Muslim lady identified as Miriam sent mommy was very devastated after she saw what happened in Borno State recently. Many Nigerian youth, especially from the north part of the country, showed their concern. So they draw the attention of government to intervene and secure the north. Miriam St. Mami is one of the popular northern ladies who believed that Nigeria will be great one day. She shared more of her pictures shedding tears with the caption that says, Please secure the north. Miriam sent a strong message to the northern leaders about what happened in Borno State. Um, so, <laughs> it's hurting. It's painful. You can really check her out and what she posted and what she said on the post she shared on her official Instagram account. She really wants them to restore the peace in the north. The least you can do for us is to secure our lives. Please, northern leaders, do something. This can't continue. Oh Allah, please have mercy on us. Please, our northern leaders, do something. You, your children, family and friends are dying. The north is bleeding. Please secure the north. Okay. Northern Nigerian Nigeria was an autonomous division within Nigeria, distinctly different from the southern part of the country, with independent customs, foreign relations, and security structures. In 1962, it acquired the territory of the British Northern Cameroons, which voted to become a province within Northern Nigeria. Wow. So, guys, in my opinion, I think uh, they are not serious. Once it's if it's hit them so hard, they know what to do. <clears throat> I'm sure it's just it's just starting. They are just start. They've just started feeling it. If they if they feel it, if they understand what is going on, if they understand what it means to lose people, I'm sure they will not be here. Maybe one of them coming out, you know, one after the other, and be you know skeletally few of them, but majority of them, they don't even understand what this this lady is talking about. And what the southern part of the country, the southerners are talking about. You know, most of the time, I always say that uh, the southerners are the ones, they, are, they cry more than the bereaved. You are just crying for people who do not even understand what you are saying. <laughs> you are just crying for yourself. You are just shouting, you know, for yourself. They don't care. So, until, people have said, until these people begin to hold their leaders accountable. Because this idea of uh, forcing it down their throat, is it forcing it down their throat? Or using it, you know, trying to force them to understand, to be, to make, to make them believe that, oh, they are born to rule. Rule for what? Are you gaining anything? Are you gaining anything? And most of the people, of course, it's the same the northerners and the people from the southwest. Not all of them. Majority of them always come out to say people don't play. They don't know how to play politics. Who are the people playing politics? They are playing politics with your life. And you are they happy. Those who have been holding the, the country uh, 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 to stand still. Those who know how to play the games, even the Jagaban that is, is, that is the professor of politics now. Do you see what is happening to him? Do you see the kind of trick they are, you know, they are, they've even, they've thrown him under the bus. They've thrown him under the bus. And now there's no written agreement between himself and the Northerner, Northerners, even Buhari himself, that after him, after, after Buhari, he will be the one to, to go. It was just a, a gentleman arrangement and see what they are doing. And you say you know how to play policies. Even if the if uh, this man becomes president today, if Tinubu becomes president today, how is it going to affect your life? They are there enjoying themselves. You are there. During the NSAS protest, he saw, he, he saw Iran, he ran away. We didn't see him. Wherever he went to, whether he went to hide or whether he was inside the hole, it's none of our business. What, all we know is that he ran away. He ran away with his son. Did he care about you? You that you are always fighting for him. You that you are always uh, defending him. Did he know you? Did he tell you anything? He see, the only thing he told you, he said he see the Jagaban. Whether you are dying or not, he see the Jagaban. And you are telling me that uh, you people know how to play policies. What kind of rubbish policies are you talking about? See fire shade there. Fire me there. Arek Beshola. All of them. They are enjoying themselves with their family and children. Oishibaj, all of them. They are enjoying themselves. No matter, no matter how bad it is, you are just pitying them. Oh, this one is not being given appointment. Oh, this one is relegated. That does not mean that uh, they cannot feed their children. That does not mean they cannot put food on the on the table. That does not mean they cannot go to any. They cannot get the best of service in this world, not in this country alone. And you are there fighting for them. So, for what use is there uh, of, of them being in power? 
Now this one is crying now. It's, so, so it is not politics now. They know how to play politics. Their person is in charge. Their people are in charge. So what kind of policies are we are you talking about that some people don't know how to play policies? What kind of rubbish dirty policies policies to your own detriment or at your detriment? You are telling us that the plan now she's crying. Why is she not happy that Bari is there? No matter what. You people are just deceiving yourself. They are deceiving you and you are deceiving yourself. So why is the politics they know how to play from their end? Why has it not helped them? A lot of them from that area now are calling for its resignation. But they're just wasting their time. They will get everything. They will enjoy everything to the fullest. Hypocrites, shedding crocodile tears, organize protests like Aisha Yusufu. If you are not a coward, that is how God will continue to punish you in the north because you thought your plan of overrunning Nigeria was going to work. In fact, before Buari leaves office, this book Haram and Bandits will fish the northern leaders and elders one by one. And do the same thing they did to these uh, farmers that experienced this uh, 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 unjust treatment. So be ready. I say be ready because they know all of you. You will not escape from them, according to what uh, um, somebody is saying here. Hmm. Of course, it's painful. Unfortunately, when everybody is partaking from the things that the wicked people have done, you know, when bad things begin to happen, people who do not know, you know, some people will see me, they will be part of the whole thing. That is the irony, uh, our irony of it all. You can imagine what everybody is going on, going through in this country. Whether you voted for Bari, even if you vowed that you would never vote for Bari, he never voted for Bari for the two times that he, he came to campaign. Why are you not part of the people who are, who are everybody suffering it? Everybody suffering it. That's it. Well, that is the laws fighting for the weak. Northern elite thoughts had, had succeeded with Boko Haram to remove Gulag Jonathan. But today, the same Boko Haram he established is, a, is now destroying their own. Never throw a stone into the market before it might hit your own. Good work, Boko Haram. Wipe the nuts out. Please go over to Buari village and surprise them. Let them continue. Hmm. You can imagine that uh, the, the people who are commenting here and they are the southerners. They are the ones who used to carry it on top, on top of their head. Hey, whoa, Buario, we will not go grill. Why is this thing happening in the north? This and this, blah, 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 blah. But now, they have not discovered that the so called people they are fighting for, they never understood. They never even believe what you are saying. You know, it was painful. As at the time that the northern youth or people were meaning Nigerians, do you know that all over the world, we are not even talking about Nigeria alone, all over the world, people who are not who are not even Nigerians, they were crying, they were sympathizing with the people, you know, the people uh, that got killed at Lekki. But our so called northerners, they came out and began to say all manner of things. And that's why you are hearing this kind of a thing from people from the south. People from the south. That's why you are hearing this kind of a thing from them. They don't even care anymore. When you talk about Boko Haram, it was uh, the Chibok guests. It was the Southerners that were able to make it, you know, they blew it to the old world. The people, they just sat down there, they were there. Nothing happened. So that's why you see that people are not really sympathizing with them anymore. People no longer sympathize with them. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Well, when they say Hausa and Cow Brain, no difference. You can see it now. Boko Haram killing their northern brothers without direction or vision. I am moved by your tears, but you should be ready to mobilize people, particularly people with like minds. You cannot wait for the leaders to talk. The leaders are not bothered. All the poly all the people can die one in one day. It does not concern them. So far, their positions are not disturbed. The so-called leaders have security details all around them 24 hours it is the common man that is being killed by Boko Haram and again they said the farmers did not even they didn't want, they didn't take permission or they didn't even they know it's a it's a war zone or whatever but they ought to have known or they ought not to have gone without the permission of the military that is what they are saying they're still blaming you <laughs> most northerners are very funny they keep saying secure the north meaning they will be so happy to know that People living in southern parts of Nigeria are being slaughtered on a daily basis, but God is the God of vengeance. I will fight your battle and you shall hold your peace. So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning what this lady has said. Thank you.